As a little girl, I didn't grow up dreaming to be a scientist or an engineer at NASA. In fact, when I started my academics, I really wanted to be a medical doctor. And my parents pushed me to do a dual degree in biomedical engineering. So I was doing pre-med and engineering at the same time because my dad wanted me to have a backup plan. And in fact, that's actually what's worked out. I wasn't successful in my medical academics, so I ended up choosing the engineering track and I went for a master's and then I went for a PhD. And then here I am at NASA working as a scientist. I am a principal investigator for the next generation of Earth Radiation Budget Observational Platform. So now as the industry is moving forward, we've made significant improvements in technology and the agency and industry is moving towards smaller satellites. I've been tasked to take this 30-year-old measurement into the next generation, incorporating the technology advancements and really taking the science and the technology and the measurement into the future, making it smaller. So Earth Radiation Budget, we're making the measurement at the top of the atmosphere, and that's really helped inform policymakers on what the climate trends are and how it's gonna impact in the future. I've told my kids that mommy is a doctor, and mommy is a doctor of the planet. I've told my kids that I take the temperature of the Earth, and I've told them, you know, with the climate changing, the Earth is not healthy. We need to continue to make it better. That means, you know, not throwing trash on the ground, not wasting a lot of paper towels. I always wanted to be a medical doctor. I wanted to be a cardiologist or a neurologist. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but I, I chose the engineering field. I became a doctor. I became a doctor of philosophy. My name is Anam Ashraf. I work in the climate science branch here in the science directorate. 